Okay YouTube this is uh, David M. Uh, right now I'm just going to shoot a video on how you can update your Retron 5 with the latest software. I'm going to do a step by step process so you see exactly what it is so that there's no confusion if people still have issues. I saw the video that Hyperkin put on um, pretty much the same thing but they just kind of like went through it really quick so I just want to go through it with you guys <clears throat> just so uh, you know you get, you get an idea of uh, what you need to do. I'm going to show you step by step. Okay, uh, first uh, you got to make sure you have an SD card in the back of your console. Here's one. Here's mine right there. <clears throat> now, I want to go to settings. Scroll all the way down. Right where it says write firmware update for SD card. You want to click on that. And then this is what it tells you. Now, I'm going to remove the SD card from the console. I'm going to take it over to my computer. Hey, Peggy. Computer, SD card going into the computer. Okay. This is my SD card. This is what shows up. Removable disk J. I'm just going to open up the folder to view the files. This is what I have on my folder right now. Um, this right here, I just added this from the right firmware update. Okay, the next step. We're going to need to go to the Retron 5 website. Here it is. It's Retron5.com. Next, you want to go to update. Retron 5 latest downloads. Right now, I'm just going to do the application first. I'm not going to do the beta. Uh, I want my console to be stable. So, the page will look like this. So, you got to pick this right here. Now, it's uh, taking me here. Now I need to firmware update request. Now I need to choose the file. Now the file I'm going to choose is the one that's on my SD card. Now I just need to find it again. Right here. Removable disk J. This is what I'm going to add. You see it right there open okay next step I need to put in this weird code what's that M56 submit now it's downloading Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to show this in folder. Then I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut it. I'm just taking it out. I'm just removing it and put, I'm going to put it in my uh, SD card folder. Now here is my folder for my SD card removable disk J now that file that I just cut I'm gonna put it right here right click it paste there it is now next step you need to remove the SD card from your computer that's pretty much it 
what you need to do. All right, let's go back to the console. Okay, so once I pop this card in, the Retron, it's going to tell me that there's a latest update. There it is. Yes, I do want to install. It's going to reboot. Hopefully this fixed some of the issues I had with the, like three of my games. Three of my games didn't work properly. Robocop vs. Terminator it worked, but the screen flickered. Toy Story worked, but it had no music. And this other game called MechWarrior did not work at all. And these are all Super Nintendo games. Alright, that is it. Then that is how you update your Retron 5. Hopefully this helps. Anytime there is an update, this is exactly what you want to do step by step, exactly how I showed you in this video. Alright.